keep it a thousand. You just get your reparations. What you gonna do with it? You buy a bunch of some Jordans. Yo, good. Yeah. What good, my, you buy, you my buy some It's well documented that Marvin and Walter from Fresh and Fit black people. Don't let their complexions fool you. At this point, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. As they talk down on black people every chance they get, while tap dancing and catering to white conservatives and what remains of their audience. These are two guys that probably their own reflections, and we know Myron for sure wishes he was white. Stop it. Get some help. But I'm Jew. Welcome to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now let's get into it. Reparations are for retards, okay? Um... Black people need to just stop being lazy. You're not gonna get a fucking handout, okay? We're not gonna give you your fucking reparations because guess who's gonna have to pay for that shit? The middle class is gonna have to pay for it. Yes. Now, let's keep it a thousand. You just get your reparations. What you gonna do with it? You gonna buy a bunch of some Jordans? Some fucking Some They're gonna buy some Yeah. Yo, good. Yeah. What good, my You gonna buy, you gonna buy some Fendi? You gonna buy some bullshit? Buy some You gonna buy some guns? Rub yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you are going to spend the go money back, and invest? Go back to jail. Majority are going to do criminal shit. Yep, 100%. Come on, man. Let's keep it a million. Let's keep it all the way a million. Buy some rims. Oh, yeah, look at that shit spin. Yeah. Yeah, look at that shit spin. It's stupid, bro. bro I'm telling you, bro. It's man. It's it, it, shit, man. Ooh, just give me a hand up, bro, Listen, so I could go fucking do shit with it. I tried being a for like six months. That shit retarded. That shit retarded, bro. Yo, listen, man. The big monkey chains and yeah. all that. I tried that shit. That shit retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to assimilate to these niggas, man. Ass, dog. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, I know I can't speak. I'm like, what's good, bro? Yo, let's go. I was like, what'd you say? Like, you high on lean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you want some? I'm like, you no. to be mumbling and shit. Bro, yeah. it's, it's tough, man. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it, it was fun. Hey, man, f you, you're not getting your reparations, okay, you stupid fucks? Like, it's not happening, all right? It's not fucking happen. These are two Uncle Ruckus self-hating anti-black cornballs. And I say self-hating just because of their complexions. These guys are not black Americans. Myron is Sudanese and Walter is inarticulate ass is from Barbados. Which is weird because Rihanna's from Barbados and she loves her blackness. So I don't know what's wrong with Walter. But these goofies have a long history of being anti-black. At first it was camouflage in their dating preferences. But the way they talk about black women in this clip should have instantly turned off their their content to anybody that actually loves black women. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like uh, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Night Riders is crazy. But you know what they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And when Fresh and Fig got into an online beef with Abba and Preach, Marvin went on a crazy racist crash out, attacking Preach by making monkey noises and calling him the hard R. And then he doubled down by reacting to that video on Sneeko stream while wearing a KKK mask. <laughs> This nigga right here is funny. He's funny. This nigga. Yeah, I don't condone this N word. Oh. Shut up, you Albanian fat. <laughs> keep running the clip, you chain. <laughs> no, keep running the clip. Out of respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What? 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 I want to get another run. There right now. <laughs> he punched there, <laughs> probably swinging yeah. around eating some bananas. Fucking stupid bitch. Preach is crying right now, swinging from a monkey branch. Bro. Eating a banana, playing some Donkey Kong on an N64 because he's a stupid prick. He's a window licking stupid nigga. What? what? All of this started the Fresh and Fit fall off. And since then, they've been banned or demonetized on just about every platform. But that hasn't slowed down their self-hating, racist, anti-black rhetoric. Like when Quavo allegedly ran off with the bag instead of appearing on Vitaly's stream. And Vitaly said this. So Quavo is not coming. I can, he's not. He's, he's, like, not. he's not. He's not coming. He took our deposit, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Of course. No Black people thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was Vitaly super comfortable saying that in front of Myron, but Myron also came to his defense on X by, you guessed it, talking down on black people. He tweeted, 95% of rappers are scumbags that do bad business, are low IQ, and are generally not good people. This is why I refuse to have 95% of them on my podcast now. I said what I said. It's funny to me because Myron doesn't have that same energy for white people. In fact, he loves white men. So much so that he forgets that he isn't one and joins white-only spaces to help them figure out how to save the white race. 
That's a crazy sentence. But in these white only spaces, not only do these guys openly discuss their hatred for other races, they disrespect Myron to his face, call him every racist word in the book, threaten him, and then kick him out of the space, and he has no smoke for them at all. As if that wasn't bad enough, Myron was on stream with Sneeko, and look how crazy he talks about women that he just thinks are black. She's hanging out with two who so makes it even worse. Okay, wait, what? These aren't Yeah, they are. She's Dominican. Wait, why is it bad that she's hanging out with black people? Really? Yeah. Black girls are bottom of the totem pole, bro. Bruh. You want me to lie? Bottom of the totem pole of, of what? Because and she... everything. They're fat. They're okay, loud. Okay, okay, first off. They're obnoxious. They have wear fake hair. These both girls are both Spanish. They look black. Or half black. They look like half breeds. The f yeah. <laughs> This one here is definitely, she's Puerto Rican. No, that bitch is black. This is a Puerto Rican and a black Dominican. Black something. They're both mixed, bro. You say this. I saw the, the clip of you. You got um, you were in a whites-only Twitter space, and you got kicked out. Yeah, they didn't want to debate. They got scared. Honestly, Myron's hate for black people and himself is super weird and disgusting. This man has to wake up every day and hate every single thing about himself, from his complexion to his facial features. I hate you, black bastards. Stink. Hate your black pants. I hate black pepper. I hate black keys on the piano. I hate my gums because they black. And while most of this video focused on Myron just because he's the most vocal and out there of the two, don't get it twisted. Walter is just as bad and self-hating as Myron. At this point, I don't know what percentage of their remaining audience is black. It baffles me that any self-respecting black man could watch or listen to them these days. Fresh and fit black people and they stopped hiding it a long time ago. They talk about black men and women like we're trash and make jokes at our expense for their white audience. So there are no tears over here for them as they continue to get demonetized into oblivion. But thanks for watching. Y'all let me know what you think about Fresh and Fit in the comments. Also, make sure you check out the next video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.